Warning. In this meditation, the subject of death is dealt with. My intention with this meditation is not to make you feel bad, nor is it to attract death, and I am not recommending death or suicide. If you feel that you need professional help or want to end your life, I recommend that you seek help immediately. There are many places that can offer you help in these difficult times. Do not listen to this recording while driving or if you are operating machinery. Only listen when you can safely relax and are able to get as comfortable as possible. Hi, my name is Robert Aceves and I welcome you to this Mindfulness Memento Mori Guided Meditation. This meditation is very simple and very powerful at the same time. Memento Mori comes from Latin and literally means remember that you will die. And it is an artistic expression to remind us that we will not be here forever. So consider this meditation a reminder that you are going to die someday and by practicing constantly keeping death in mind, one of my favorite practices as it keeps me working on what is really important in life, you'll notice how it takes the edge off things that really don't matter in life, knowing that sooner or later we're all going to die. And as I said at the beginning, this is a very simple and powerful meditation. So I'm going to ask you to sit or lie down in a comfortable place where no one will interrupt you for several minutes and close your eyes. With your eyes closed, I'm going to ask you to think about the problems and concerns that you have right now. Think about some of the things you did today. and perhaps some of the things that have happened in your life recently. That's it. And now, imagine that one day you're going to die. And obtain the idea of death in your mind. Now imagine that you're about to take your last breath. And imagine being dead. Imagine that you're no longer yourself. Visualize your dead body, and even if you want, you can imagine worms eating your body, coming out of your face and different parts of your body. And imagine letting go of what you want most in this life. And that you have no other option but to let it go. And if you feel sadness, feel that sadness of knowing that you will no longer be able to enjoy what you want most in life. Imagine letting go of your parents, your children, your relatives, your friends. And 
really imagine never being able to see your loved ones again. Imagine letting go of your favorite things. Letting go of your clothes, your properties, your money. And imagine no longer being able to enjoy your favorite food. Imagine no longer being able to enjoy your favorite activities. Imagine no longer being able to go to your favorite places. Imagine letting go of your past and even your name. You no longer have a name or a last name. Imagine that you are no longer who you are and that there is absolutely nothing left. And therefore, imagine letting go of your failures. Imagine letting go of your successes and all your achievements so far in this life. Imagine letting go of your anxiety your stress, your depression, your anger, your worries, and any negative emotions disappear. Imagine letting go of your resentments towards others. Imagine forgiving people who have offended you or hurt you in the past. And above all, Imagine forgiving yourself for everything you've ever done to others. Now, Imagine that sadness disappearing and just obtain the idea that there is nothing left. Feeling inner peace and nothingness emptiness. Nothing is nothing. If you're still feeling something, drop it. Kill it. So that there's absolutely nothing left in your mind. Imagine 
when one dies, there's no more pain, there's no more sadness, there's no more stress. You no longer have to worry about money, paying rent. So feel that inner peace of not having to worry about anything anymore, ever again. That feeling of not having to do anything anymore. And just enjoy doing absolutely nothing. Emptying your mind completely. And continue enjoying that inner peace and really letting go of everything for several minutes. And that's it. And now, imagine that you're not dead yet, that you have not died, and that you have a new chance to live. 
imagine being reborn, coming back to life. And then you can still do the things that you love and enjoy most in life. That's it. And imagine yourself enjoying your favorite food. Imagine yourself doing one of your favorite activities. Imagine yourself enjoying the company of one of your loved ones. That's it. And from this moment on, you're going to live your life with the idea that you can die at any moment. Since life is not forever. Because you will realize that the time you're here is limited. And therefore, everything you do is important. You will no longer waste time on meaningless things or things that are not really important to you. And instead of complaining about why things didn't work out as you expected, you're going to focus on living in the present and enjoying every minute because you know that it is the only thing you have. And every morning, you're going to wake up feeling lucky to have one more day to be alive and to have a new opportunity to live and to enjoy everything you have. That's it. And in a minute, I'm going to ask you to come back to the present and open your eyes. That's it. Little by little, you're going to come back to the present and wake up. And slowly opening your eyes, feeling so much better, more alive, more desire to live. I'm going to ask you to observe five objects that are around you right now. That's it. Now I'm going to ask you to touch four things that are around you. Mm 
That's it. Now, I want you to listen to three sounds that are near you right now. That's it. Now, I'm going to ask you to smell two smells from that place where you're at. Great. And finally, I'm going to ask you to think of something you like to eat today. And I want you to savor that food in your mouth right now, as if you're tasting it. Thank you. This is where we're going to end this meditation. I recommend that you practice keeping death in mind every day so that you focus on the things that are really worthwhile and ignore the things that are really not important so that you can enjoy your life to the fullest with your loved ones. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next time.